Hi, how are you today? So in this video, I'm going to be talking again about the Sony ICD UX570 digital handheld recorder. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm a huge fan of this little recorder. It has 101 uses. I've made a number of videos about the Sony ICD UX570. I encourage you to go check those out. I even have a playlist here on my chan channel uh, dedicated exclusively to this little digital recorder. I absolutely love this thing. I've owned it for about four years and I've used it in many, many different ways. I've used it for a podcast that I do. I use it for video work. And I also, the, the main reason why I bought this little recorder is to digitize analog recordings. And I have some other videos where I get into detail about that and I explain how. Definitely one of the principal reasons why I bought this Sony ICD UX570 is to digitize old analog recordings such as cassettes, reels of tape, um, vinyl, etc. And it does a very good job doing that. Uh, and again, I strongly encourage you to check out my playlist. There will be a link to that at the end of this video. Uh, where I go into detail about how to actually digitize old analog recordings. It's very, very easy. Now, the thing about the Sony ICD UX570, uh, at the top, there's a couple of jacks. There's a headphone jack and a little red jack there on the left. And that's basically, uh, it's labeled as a microphone jack. Okay, you can see it there. It's got a little symbol for a microphone. Now I've had people make comments on my previous videos that, well, if it's designated for a microphone, you, you can't put input any line devices. That is, you really can't input cassettes or vinyl or radio because if it's designated for a microphone, it's gonna sound extremely distorted. That is not a problem. And that's why I made this video because I'm going to show you that even though it has a little microphone symbol on there, Yes, you can definitely input a microphone, but you can also input other line sources. And I'll explain to you how exactly to do that. So I'm just gonna turn on the device. The power button is over here on the right. I just slide it down and it comes on. And you have a main menu screen and you can toggle back and forth by pushing left or pushing right down here. And you have different options. You have a music tab, a tab for recorded files, a record function, the settings function, and then it says back to playback. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to settings, and I hit that middle button here with the, with the play symbol on it, and that takes me into settings. And right up there at the top, it says recording settings. So I'm gonna hit the play button again to go into recording set settings. And then I'm going to go down, you see it says external input setting. I'm gonna hit the button down here to go down to external input setting, hit play. And it says only activated when external input used. If you just wait a second, it's going to go here to this screen. And this is what we're looking at in this video. So again, you can choose between microphone in, and I'm gonna to toggle up to microphone in, and it's asking me to basically select the sensitivity. So if I select again the play button here in the middle, it says the microphone sensitivity for voice or for music. So you can choose between for voice or for music. For example, if you were recording an interview with someone uh, and you had a lapel microphone on them, you'd want to use voice, that one right there. So you choose your setting, again, hit the play button in the middle, and you can choose auto, high, medium, low, all the different sensitivity settings. I'm just gonna hit auto. So that's taken care of. That's if you want to use an actual microphone. But what I really wanna focus on in this video is the selection that says audio in. As soon as I select audio in, I can input a, a stereo, any sort of stereo input. Again, cassette deck, radio, reel-to-reel, -reel, vinyl, whatever I like. Now there is a function called sync record. I don't use that, so for this one I just hit no. Basically it's a, it's a setting that will automatically stop record, start recording as soon as you start the source, but I don't like to use that, so I'm just gonna hit no for that one. Sync record turned off, and that's pretty much it. You can see it's selected to audio in, 
So that means now I can input any sort of device into that microphone jack, whether it be, again, a radio, a reel-to-reel -reel machine, vinyl, cassette, whatever I like, it's all set to go. And when I'm all done doing that, I just hit stop, and I just keep hitting the back button until I come back here to the main man menu setting where I have music, recorded files, record, settings, back to playback, and so on. And that's pretty much it. So again, for those of you who may have been wondering, well, if that, if that jack is supposed to be intended for microphone, if you input any sort of stereo source, it's going to sound extremely distorted. Again, as I've shown you, that's not a problem. That's not an issue. All you have to do is make sure that you set your recording setting to line input and you're all set to go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you are a user of the ICD UX570, please feel free to leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you can join us again next time. And as I said, please feel free to check out my playlist dedicated to this wonderful little recorder, the Sony ICD UX570. Thanks again. We'll see you again next time. And please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye.